Hello, welcome to the Euler and Integrals. I'm starting my series of discussions of the Euler's Integrals of different kinds. And the topic of the lecture today is the Euler's Integral of the first kind, which is called the Beta Function. You know, Euler the Great created developed so many useful integrals, which have a lot of applications in the natural sciences, and this is one of them, the Beta Function, is the function of two input variables, a and b. Sometimes they're called input parameters in some cases. And it's equal to the integral from 0 to 1, x to the power a minus 1, multiplied by 1 minus x, power b minus 1, dx. This integral has a lot of applications in physics, chemistry, and of course, in, in the probability and statistics. Let's say, for example, when your random variable has restricted finite length this integral is very useful in statistical probability. You know, in mathematics and calculus, when you deal with integrals, what's important? The question of convergence. When does this integral converge? For which values of the input variables a and b? Obviously, when those powers a minus 1, b minus 1, both are more than 0, there is no problem. The integral converges. Why? because all the x values are between 0 and 1, 0 point something, and the positive powers of those values are getting even lower, so they keep, my, they keep my function bounded. So another case, when a minus 1 minus 0, b minus 1 minus 0, it's, it means that a is more than 1, b more than 1, no problem, the integral converges. What about other values of a and b? Will it converge for the values, let's say, less than one. Let's research that so I can break it into two parts. Integral of 0 0.5 have the same integral function plus second chunk 0 0.5 to 1 the same integral function. I will consider the first part of this integral 1 minus x b minus 1 dx over now x power 1 minus a in the denominator. When x is 0 we have a problem. It's called the pole of the function it blows up, and in which case it will converge. We discussed that, we proved that in the calculus course, the improper integrals chapter, then this integral would converge when 1 minus a is less than 1. Why? Because the values of x are between 0 and 0.5, small values, and the powers when 1 minus a is less than 1, the powers of those values of x between 0 0.5 actually keep my function bounded. It's not growing infinitely when I approach to 0. So it converges. Similarly, the second part, you can rewrite it x a minus 1 dx, 1 minus x in the denominator, 1 minus b power. When x is 1, it's a pole, it's a problem now. When will it converge? We proved it, we discussed it, it will converge when 1 minus b is less than 1, which is b more than 0. So in this case, those powers of 1 minus x will keep my whole function bounded. It won't grow without a bound. The integral will converge. So now we have even more information. It converges not just for a more than 1, b more than 1, but also for a more than 0, b more than 0, a little bit wider range, yeah? And for other values, be less than zero, a less than zero, those powers will become positive here, and x of those powers in the denominator will actually make my function blow up and the integral will diverge. There are so many properties of beta function on Google. You can see them, the extended version of beta function I'll talk about a couple of the useful properties. First one, beta of AB is equal to beta of BA. It's called the symmetry property. It's very easy to prove it by the simple substitution. X is equal to 1 minus T. 1 minus T here will be just T here. And the powers will be flipped. And the result is the same. So you have this, this symmetry property. The second very important property, beta of AB is equal to this conversion factor, beta of A b minus 1, the second argument is reduced, or similarly, beta of a, b 
is equal to this conversion factor multiplied by beta of a minus one, the first argument reduced by one, comma, b. Those are called the argument reduction formulae. And since we require both arguments to be positive, more than zero, since I reduce my argument, I require b minus one more than zero, which means that b more than one. Here I require my a minus one more than zero for this reduction, which is a is more than one. So when you use reduction formulas, we have more restrictions here. My parameter is actually more than one, more than one, not just more than zero. Otherwise, we'll not be able to reduce a, a parameter. So how to prove those two? By using integration by parts. Yeah? So this is what I have here. I can rewrite my beta function as the integral from zero to one, one minus x b minus one, and I can bring my power of x a minus one under the differential sign, so it becomes d of x a over a. You know, we discussed that in calculus, you all know that how to bring a function under the differential sign, and uh, will be equal to integration by parts. At this stage, that's the power function for the x. So this is my u is equal to one minus x, b minus one, the rest is d. b is equal to dx a over a. Now du will be equal to one minus x, power b minus two, minus up front dx, yeah? Actually, b minus one minus b minus one factor here also, minus up front. And z is equal to x a over a. Now it's equal to uv, so it's x a over a, one minus x b minus 1, substitute 0 to 1, minus the integral video. This is actually 0, easy to so see substitution, 1 minus 1, 0, divided by a is non zero value, more than 0, non zero. so it's 0, and integral v du, v is x a, 1 over a at the stage is a constant, up front, we could pull it up front, the integral, that's v uh, du is b minus 1 constant, 1 minus x, b minus 2, dx, and this minus, so this minus becomes plus, and it's equal to. Now, this is kind of beta function nature, except for my a power should be reduced by 1, there it's not reduced by 1. So I'll use very useful identity, x a is equal to x a minus one minus x a minus one multiplied by one minus x. Math is like playing chess. When you do something, you need to predict the outcome of this move. This identity will help me to recursively go back to the beta function structure exactly. So we'll use this. Identity and it will be equal to just plug it in here instead of x a and will be equal to b minus one over a integral from zero to one action from zero to one instead of x a over x a minus one one minus x b minus two dx first part minus the integral x a minus 1 1 minus x well this 1 minus it will 1 minus x b minus 2 plus 1 is b minus 1 dx yeah so this is what I have here and exactly it puts me back recursively to a beta function here beta a b and this is also beta function what arguments the first argument is the same a 
a minus 1 reduced here. Since this is b minus 2, so this has to be plus 1, which is b minus 1 input second argument. Yeah? So it's equal to, and this is equal to actually, I just started out from the beta function of a, b. So it's beta function of a, b. And now it's simple algebra, just collect. So it will be equal to b minus 1 over a beta function of a b minus 1 minus b minus 1 over a beta function of a b and it's equal to beta function of a b yeah so we have actually from here it's my beta function beta function so if I move it to the right beta function is a common factor so it will be 1 plus that 1 is a over a with this fraction, so I just have a plus b minus 1 over a, beta function of a, b, and it's equal to whatever is here, it's equal to b minus 1 over a, the beta function of a, b minus 1, yeah? And simple algebra from, from here, you can tell that beta a b is equal to exactly my reduction formula just multiply by the reciprocal of that will be equal to b minus 1 over a plus b minus 1 the beta function of a b minus 1 this is q e d 1 we just proved the first property it's a reduction formula the second argument reduction formula uh, similarly well, I can prove it for the second part so I can write my beta of a b is equal to now if I bring 1 minus x under the differential so it will be equal to integral 0 to 1 what is it here? So now 0 to 1, x a minus 1, and under the differential sign, I have 1 minus x power b over b and minus up front. So we'll rewrite it this way. A, B, A, B. Write it this way. So this is what I have now. Let's double check. So it will be b b one minus x b minus one. And my, okay, that's correct now. And again, integration by parts. Power function. So u is equal to x a minus one. The rest is dv. Dv is equal to d one minus x b over b yeah now du is equal to a minus 1 x a minus 2 dx and v is equal to 1 minus x b over b and again similarly we have beta of a b function is equal to this minus up front uv so uv it's x a minus 1 1 minus x b over b substitution 0 to 1 and again that's equal to 0 1 set 1 is a 0 dividing by b is not 0 value 0 plus <coughs> minus the integral v du v is 1 minus x power b b is out as a constant in this case and du is a minus 1 outside x a minus 2 dx and again I will use very similar identity here such as 1 minus x power b is equal to 1 minus x 
b minus 1 minus 1 minus x b minus 1 x so we'll use this identity to recursively go back to the beta function structure yeah so and it will be equal to close bracket minus this minus what this minus it's plus so it will be just a minus 1 over b integral from 0 to 1 and two parts of this integral will be 1 minus x b minus 1 plug it in here so the integral 1 minus x b minus 1 a x x a minus 2 x a minus 2 d x yeah minus the integral from 0 to 1 1 minus x b minus 1 1 minus x b minus 1 this x with this x will be x a minus 1 dx close bracket integral from 0 to 1 I hope that's clear very similar transformation carefully perform algebra here and it will be equal to will be equal to this is what I'm back to my beta function and it's back to my beta function that's exactly beta function of a and b x a minus 1 1 minus x b minus 1 so this is beta a b and what is this and this is beta a minus 2 which means that the input argument should be a minus 1 and this is exactly b because b minus 1 is here yeah okay and then that's all equal to i started out from here it's a beta a b so you can write a beta a b here beta a b here now collect everything carefully so it will be actually equal to a minus 1 over b multiplied by beta a minus 1 reduction b minus a minus 1 over b beta a b and it's equal to beta a b and from here from here beta a b is equal to bring it here with the plus so one plus that's so b so b so will be a plus b minus one over b beta a b and it's equal to a minus one over b beta a minus 1 b simple algebra and from here beta a b will be equal to multiplied by the reciprocal a minus 1 over a plus b minus 1 beta a minus 1 b and uh, you can see we are back to the second formula q2 yeah? so those are the two proofs of the argument reduction formulas and there's very important property let's say when when b is a natural number more than one let's say b is equal to m when the second argument is a natural number then in this case my beta function is beta let's say n a could be written as beta a n beta a n my second argument is a natural positive counting number yeah? 
and that's equal to, use the reduction formula, will be equal to the second argument reduction formula will be n minus 1 over a plus n minus 1 beta a n minus 1 now and continue reducing that until you exhaust all the natural number n up to 1 and it will be equal to continue n minus 1 over a plus n minus 1 multiplied by a minus 2 over a plus n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 3 over a plus n minus 3 and so on until until you exhaust everything will be 1 over a plus 1 here and here will be beta a 1 here you can't reduce it anymore because this is 1 it has to be more than 1 if you want to use the reduction formula and it's 1 so stop here so what's beta a 1 actually beta a 1 it's easy to evaluate it. beta a 1 just plug 1 in b so it will be integral from 0 to 1 x a minus 1 this is 0 power minus 1 is 0 so it's 1 so dx and this is actually equal to 1 over a 1 over a so finally it's actually this is 1 over a so which means it's just equal to here I just have factorials 1 to n minus 1 so n minus 1 factorial see the factorial's nature comes out here multiplied by this a plus n minus 1 multiplied by a plus n minus 2 and so on up to a plus 1 up to a interesting connection yeah now very interesting if my a is also a natural number more than one i will try to use the reduction for a that's why required more than one we discussed it here more than one yeah? for example a is equal to m then for both m and natural numbers my both arguments are natural input numbers then in this case I can use reduction for my a and I have a partial factorial here so if I go even lower than a a minus 1 a minus 2 up to 1 so I need to use the factor of from 1 to a minus 1 terms it's another factorial which is m in this case so it will be m minus 1 factorial by that all together from 1 to this so actually and I need to multiply numerator by that so this is what we have very interesting result with my red color here yeah take my red color very interesting result beta for m n will be equal to numerator is actually n minus 1 factorial and here I will multiply a minus 1 a minus 2 up to 1 instead of a of m so from 1 to all of that so when they actually m plus m minus 1 all factorial and I also need to multiply by m minus 1 factorial look at this this is a great result evaluating beta function for the two input natural variables what's great about this this formula actually developed by the Euler the Great that was his development discovery it connects two different worlds that is the continuous world that's the integral for those two arguments that's integral continuous nature is evaluated by the discrete nature the factorial nature that's the discrete nature so we kind of equating the analog and the digital world together very interesting discovery by Euler the Great where you can kind of estimate the integrals by just using the factorials 
I hope that was clear, interesting, useful, and uh, I hope to see you soon in my future lectures of the Euler's integrals, where we'll discuss more fascinating, more interesting properties, which help, uh, help us to evaluate integrals using factorials, one of the ways, and some other interesting results. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.